So howdy everybody, my name is Keith Warren and welcome to High Road, where this week we're gonna be sweating it out big time. We're going hog hunting in South Texas in the middle of the summer. And to top it off, we're gonna be using handguns. All right, there's all right there. South Texas, I love South Texas, but the biggest drawback to South Texas, in my opinion, is that it's South Texas. <laughs> And what I mean by that is it can get hotter than all get out in South Texas, especially in the summer. So joining me on this hunt is Tyler Tiller. He's the CEO of Timber Creek Outdoors, who's been in our title sponsor of the television show for many, many years. My name is Tyler Tiller. I'm with Timber Creek Outdoors. We're based out of Eugene, Oregon. Timber Creek's a family owned and operated manufacturing company, and we started specializing in MSR parts. Timber Creek Outdoors, uh, first off I want to say, is a family run, American owned business. And that's important to me, and I think it should be important to everybody. And the best thing about it is the family hunts and lives to hunt. Tyler's from Oregon. He's not used to heat like we're having right now in Texas. And uh, Tyler and I have gone on lots of adventures together, whether it's blacktail hunting, mule deer hunting. But on today's hunt, he's gonna be doing something he's never done before. And that's hunting using a handgun. I've been hunting my whole life and harvesting animals for over 20 years. But this is gonna be a cool challenge. We're gonna have to get in real close, be quiet, and make a perfect shot with a pistol. It's gonna be something new and really exciting. So let me tell you about how we met the landowner of this place where we're hog hunting. First off, as you know, we gotta be traveling all over the place and we carry guns. And so we have to have guns inspected by TSA, no matter if it's a bolt gun or it's a semi-automatic. I love a 50 BMG. And when you show up at the airport with a 50 BMG, they like go, ah, I don't know about that, that's a 50 BMG. It's like, okay, so we go in there and we're gonna get this Noreen 50 BMG checked out. And all of a sudden we meet Officer John. And Officer John says, ah, you're good. I know all about you. I said, you do? He said, oh yeah. He said, you're using that Noreen ULR 50 BMG. He says, I've seen you kill a blue wildebeest with it, a red heart of beast with it. I saw Johnny kill a, a zebra with it. It's like, I'm very, very familiar with you and that rifle. You're good. It's like, okay, so we're talking to him and he says, I got a place down south of San Antonio with a lot of hogs. I said, really? And he showed me some pictures like this place has got more hogs than just about any place I've ever been. He says, if you want to come hunt down there, just come on. So that's how we got here. All right, so uh, you've never done this before, right? Never. Handgun never hunting shot a pistol with a red dot. Never okay. Okay. hunted with a pistol. Well, this right here, let me tell you something. I love hunting handguns and on, I mean, we've done tons of videos on hunting with handguns and this right here is dead on. So what we've got, we've got a feeder that's gonna be about 12, 15 yards away from you. Okay, so the hogs ought to be about that distance, but the brain on one is gonna be about the size of an egg. Okay. So what we're gonna wanna do is, I mean, if you can hit about the size of an egg, you're good. So okay. go for the center of that target and let's just see what you got. Nice. That's good, huh? See if we can do that again. Sweet. Should we send one more? Send one more. You're done. I'd feel sorry for a hog. All you gotta do, but it's, it's shot placement, obviously. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go for the brain. Yep. Okay. That's good. Perfect. That's nice. I like that. And we got nice cool weather coming. That's right. <laughs> It'll be a hundred degrees at least. <laughs> we'll be melting. Yes, we will. All right, so here's what's going on. Johnny and Tyler are about two miles away. And I'm gonna be using a Glock. I'm loading up right now. I've got a feeder set up here at about 12, 15 yards. It is about 100 degrees in the shade, literally probably 120 degrees in this tank line. I got the windows all open. The wind is blowing right to left. So if the hogs come in in front of me or to the right of me, there's no way they're gonna smell me. But this right here is what I'll be using, okay? Got my little holographic side on it, but even though it's real close, I don't take a chance. I want to use that rest to make sure I'm dead on. So we're gonna stay put and just see what happens. All we need is one to come over here. I keep hearing them. They're close. They're real close. And I know they're on the move because every time I hear them, they're getting closer and closer. That right there was a the dinner bell, hopefully. A hog will come in, I'm telling you, I've been sitting here sweating and sweating. All right, there's a hog right there. It's coming in. Oh yeah, the wind is perfect. Absolutely perfect. That's what I'm talking about right there. So 
So what do you think about that? Let's get down there and show you what a, a Glock does to a hog with a brain shot. All right, so this is what it looks like. It's probably about a hundred pound sow. Okay, it's June, middle of June, South Texas. I mean, it's hot. Well, you know, I got in here early. It was hot. Johnny and Tyler are a couple of miles away and hopefully they're gonna have some luck. You know, we put cameras out a few days ago and literally getting thousands and thousands of pictures. It's a, a, a hog rich environment, but the hogs, especially this time of year, don't wanna move till dark. So we've got thermals. We're gonna go out after dark and see what we can do to them. But this Glock, most people think a nine millimeter isn't good for hunting and it really isn't unless you have great shot placement and unless you use the right projectile so we obviously had the right shot placement got right there behind the ear we got it on camera where you can see the gun going off and the pig hitting the ground at the same time so anyway pretty cool stuff uh, i'm gonna get this guy loaded up and uh head on over and meet up with tyler and johnny and kind of see how they did but uh so far this hunt's working out pretty good <laughs> for everybody but the hog It's awesome. Oh my gosh. They came in so stinking close. They're that too was close. Sweet. That's oh, awesome. I got the shakes. That was so awesome. All right, we just got up here and recovered this pig. And man, this was a fun hunt. It was extremely hot and the pigs didn't come in until the last maybe half an hour of daylight. We were kind of wondering if uh, all that heat was going to be worth it. And when they came in, it was real easy to get that red dot right where they need to hit, right up on the head. This pig here just flipped over and it was pretty easy. Sitting there all by himself and hit him right between the eyes. I've killed a lot of pigs and I didn't think it would be that exciting hunting with a pistol, but getting up close and being right up there next to him and touching off with that pistol was really exciting. Got the adrenaline going. It was a lot of fun. As it was cooling off, we could hear Keith shoot down the way. And so we're gonna get this pig loaded up and we're gonna go see what Keith has. All right, so you'll notice we're uh putting some protection on our lower legs. The reason why is because this afternoon we went out hog hunting. It was about 150 degrees, don't you think, Tyler? It was hot. It was hot. <laughs> and so, But it has <laughs> cooled off nice now. We got a good wind and we're gonna go use the thermals and the rifles and we're gonna go out, but we're gonna protect ourselves because these big snakes down here in South Texas love to come out when the sun goes down. So hopefully we won't run into a reptile and we'll run into a bunch of hogs and the plan is to kill as many as we can. All right. So we're heading down this road and the wind is perfect. We're walking right in the wind and we see these hogs from quite a ways away, but they're kind of on the other side of the fence. Now it's maybe out of bounds for this pasture, but it's still on the property. We could take them if we wanted, but the thing is, is we're walking down there. We're aware that there's cows out in the field too. And that's the one thing, man, when you're hunting at night, you want to make sure of everything, not just cattle and horses, but homes and barns and vehicles. And so, we're paying attention to everything out in the field. So we're looking down the road and we see a bunch of pigs. And as we're working our way down, two started coming across and they stepped out in the middle of the road. And we're watching these hogs and all of a sudden we get set up and the hogs come underneath the fence. They come out in front of us. Now one thing about this property, it's a cattle ranch and there's a lot of cows. So as we're setting up, we need to look and see where the cows at, where the pigs. And as the chaos starts, you have to make sure you know where the cows are the whole time. So we're talking to each other, saying, okay, I'll take this one, you take that one. And we count it down and fire. You shoot on three. One, two. Do you want to hit that other one? No. It's clear. One of them drops like right there in the road and the other one. 
we knew it was a hit. We could tell instantly it goes not too far and tips over too. The night's getting off to a good start and it's probably past Keith's bedtime, but we're just getting started. So it's been raining a lot in South Texas this time of year and uh, the grass is unusually tall. With thermal gear, it's kind of hard to see your target in the tall grass, but we know these are hogs. We're trying to close the distance and get up within shooting range. Now this is a pretty good group of hogs. It's a, what we call a sounder. And the thing is, we don't know how many there are, but we know they're there. And uh, we also know there's cows in the field, there's calves in the field, there's other kind of things out there that we want to be careful of. We're not shoot, okay? And, and I'm getting frustrated because it's like, I want to get a good clean shot, but I really can't see the targets well. The whole sounder starts getting boogery and they're going to take off. So it's time to take a shot now or never. So we dump the first one instantly, right where it stands, and we don't take another shot. The reason why is because we didn't have an opportunity for a good, clean, ethical shot, and it's better to be safe than sorry. There are so many cows, we have to call it off. It's not worth shooting anymore. It ain't worth the risk. So this next engagement is like what people dream about, it's at least what I dream about. I mean, there's more hogs out there, and I mean, the wind is absolutely perfect. They have no idea what's fixing to happen. I mean, Tyler and I are closing the distance. We finally got set up to where he says, how close do you want them to get? And I said, close. I mean, they have no idea we're here. It's like at some point they kind of get too close. I mean, and we're talking, it's like, where do you want to start? Because there's so many hogs in front of us. We're trying to make a decision. Okay, you start here, I start there making sure we have good communication. Because like I said, this is what we dream about. All of a sudden we count it down and all hell breaks loose. And we got pigs going here and there. It's like, I don't know how many we knocked down, but I mean, we knocked down a bunch. This was what a hog hunter dreams about right here. All right, so what do you think? That was a lot of fun. That was, that a, was lot a lot of fun. What we wound up doing this afternoon, which one of us gunned one down with a Glock. But then uh, we went out tonight. We saw a lot of pigs and uh, we made some good shots on these guys. And the thing that amazes me, they're all except for that little guy, they're all pretty good size. Yep. Good thing is we didn't run into any snakes tonight. Yeah, and we were able to pick out some big ones. Yeah, we were. So we're going to go ahead and get these guys taken care of. And then uh, we're going to probably give her a whirl tomorrow night too. What do you say? I'm up for it. Yeah, I'm up for it too. We got plenty of ammo. All right, so if you're watching online, you know what to do. Make sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel and share it with a friend. Thanks for watching.